Our mini project is on clustering of the web users based on the user navigation patterns. Our team consists of three members. I'm Saumya and other members are Nishita NVS and Shravya P. We are from CSC department. We did this project under the esteemed guidance of Mr. B. Shankar Babu, Assistant Professor, CSC GRIT. This is an application of web usage mining. Before knowing what web usage mining is, let us see the basic mining concepts first. What is data mining? Data mining is the process of analyzing data from different perspectives and summarizing it into useful information. So what can data mining do? Data mining software analyzes relationships and patterns in stored transaction data based on open-ended user queries. So what is web mining? Web mining aims to extract and mine useful knowledge from the web. The information gathered through the web is further evaluated by using traditional data mining techniques such as clustering, classification, and association. Web mining is further classified into three categories, web content mining, web structure mining, and web usage mining. Web usage mining is also known as web log mining. So what is web usage mining all about? Web usage mining is used to understand the customer behavior and evaluate the effectiveness of the website. This is nothing but discovering user navigation patterns from the web log data and the prediction of user behavior which he interacts with the website. The aim of understanding the navigation preferences of the visitors is to enhance the quality of the website. What our project mainly does is, it takes the web log data as input and clusters the users based on the similarities in their navigation patterns. So let us now see what clustering is. Clustering is nothing but the process of organizing objects into groups whose members are similar in some way. Clustering can be considered the most important unsupervised learning problem. A cluster is therefore a collection of objects which are similar between them and are dissimilar to the objects belonging to the other clusters. So this is the pictorial representation of the clustering. The objects with the, sim the, objects with the similar characteristics are grouped together. The algorithm which we used here to implement clustering is k-means clustering algorithm. The k-means algorithm is a distance-based clustering algorithm that partitions the data into a predetermined number of clusters. The k-means algorithm takes the input parameter k and partitions a set of n objects into k clusters so that the resulting intra-cluster similarity is high but the inter-cluster similarity is low. So have a glance at the algorithm once. This is the database which we took as the input for our application. This is the web log data of msnbc.com for the duration of 24 hours. The database consists of the navigation patterns of about 9 lakhs users. Navigation pattern is nothing but the order in which the user visits the web pages in a website. Here, each sequence represents each user and each digit uniquely represents a single web page. For example, let us consider the following sequence 3, 2, 2, 4, 2, 2, 2, 3 and 3. This shows that after visiting the page 3, the user has visited page 2 and then page 2, then 4, and so on. So this is how our interface looks like. We can enter the number of clusters required. For example, we have entered the number 5. If we click on submit, we get the following output. This is the graphical representation of the clustering. This shows that there are large number of users in cluster 1 and least number of users in cluster 5. Our application also displays the characteristics of each cluster. For example, in cluster 2, the number of users are 19. Users mostly navigate from page 8 to page 8 and the mostly accessed page by the users is 8 and the least accessed page by the users is 14. 
This information can be analyzed and used for web personalization. Web personalization is nothing but improving the characteristics of the web pages that are accessed frequently by the users. Thank you.